I believe the biggest challenge I've faced, I think there are two big challenges, but the first one is going to be opportunity cost, right? So when, when you look at being an entrepreneur, right, there are certain sacrifices that you have to make. That might be money, that might be clout, that might be big name industries and all of that. So for us to be able to do this, right, or for me to be able to do this, there are a lot of sacrifices I have to make, there are a lot of things I have to give up in order to pursue this goal that I have. So it might mean, oh, I have to turn down an offer from somewhere and then explain that to you know, my partner, like, hey, I I'm gonna turn down this really good offer to work for this really good company because I wanna pursue this particular dream. So there's a lot of opportunity cost that comes in becoming an entrepreneur, especially if you've proven yourself to be a good worker, a hard worker and all of those things, right? There are rewards for those things. But with entrepreneurship, you don't see those rewards immediately, right? You might get like a feel good, like, you know, a, a good amount of feel good moments, but then there's nothing that is basically like, oh, now you can pay your rent. Now you can do all of those things. And I think that's sort of where it gets tricky. Well, I think the most difficult part about this is just really being in the US as an international student, right? So I have been in the US for nine years. And I'm as close to becoming like a resident in the US as the first day I got here, right? What then that does as a founder is that it makes you just live your life in this constant state of risk assessment, right? Because it's, okay, if I do my startup, will I be able to get a visa that's going to be able to make me stay? But then what happens if we can't afford to get me a visa? When we get the visa, what happens if I go into a lottery and then I don't get the visa. How is that going to affect my company? How is that going to affect my mental health? How is that going to affect my co-founder every single day, not knowing whether like, you know, I'm going to be able to stay or not. So the process of becoming an entrepreneur, especially coming from an African country like me without like having a green card or having citizenship is just that constant state of risk assessment. You couple that with all of the opportunity costs, it just constantly like just puts you in this state of like mental turmoil about whether this is the right time to pursue something. It's always the right time to try to change the world. But when faced with certain difficulties about your personal and just like mental well being, you then want to put that on the back seat. And I think that's really the challenge I personally have faced, you know, becoming an entrepreneur.